Our next tutorial is about rotation. What I intend to do is pass the rotation H, which if we come down here is the heading, we have H, P and B. So H is the heading, P is the pitch and B is the banking. And we're going to take our rotation H from cube A and pass it over to cube B. But to make this a bit more interesting, I'm going to make cube B rotate at half the speed of cube A. And to do so, I'm going to introduce a couple of new nodes. I've already placed an Espresso tag on cube A. So I'll just double click on there and open the Espresso editor. The next stage is to drag in both cubes as we did before. Cube A and cube B. Big gap between them because we have to leave room for the other nodes. And we just extend these a little bit more and then move them a little bit more. So now we go to our output stage on cube A and we select coordinates, rotation, rotation H. And then we come over to the input stage on cube B and we do exactly the same thing. Rotation H. Now the next node that we need to introduce is the degree node. And to do so, we hold down the command or apple key and click and we bring up a menu. We select new node, espresso, calculate, degree. And we get our degree node and we'll just put it in line there. Now, if we come over to the attributes here and we look at the function under node properties, you can see that we have radians to degree. And that's how we need it set up initially because we need to convert Cubase base rotation H, which is already expressed in radians, to degrees. It'll be easier for us to work that way. And that's plugged in there. The next stage is to hold down our command key again and click, bring up our menu and select another degree node. We could of course have copied the first one, but we'll do this again just to get you familiar with the way this works. So we just line that one up with QB. Now this particular degree node needs to convert degrees back to radians in order to make QB rotate correctly. So we just do this in our functions here. Set that up down there. And then over here we just plug the output of our degree node into QB. And now to finish the expression, because it really is that simple again, we just need one more node. And that's going to be a math node. So once more, we hold down our command key and click, bring up our menu, select Espresso, calculate, math. And we'll just move that in line there. Now at the moment you can see it's set up as a math add. We don't want that, we want it to be a divide. So we come to our node properties functions, and in the drop down menu we simply select divide. And now the node reads math divide. And we can plug the output of our degree node into the first input of the math node. In order to create the division by 2, we come down to our parameters at the bottom here. And where we've got input 2, we simply key a number 2 into the box there. So now we're dividing the output of the degree node by 2. And all we need to do to finish the expression is to plug the output of the math node into the degree node here. And now we're making cube B rotate at half the speed of cube A. And to prove this works, if we just grab our cube A and rotate it, you can see that cube B is indeed rotating at half the speed of cube A. And to further prove this, if we come down here and type a naught in there, and then we say, yeah, let's type in 90 in there to move cube A by 90 degrees. So we've done that. And you can see now that cube B looks as if it's moved by 45 degrees. So if we select it, check down here, sure enough, we've got 45 degrees in there. And there you have it. A simple tutorial about rotation. Have a play with the P and B rotations, plumb those in and see what happens. But that just about wraps this up for this tutorial. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I really hope you've learned something.